Can Art of Rock and Roll is the title of a new musical featuring the music of the Oh, all right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is August 28th. Um, it's Tuesday. And I'm headed into town. I got to uh, do some errands. I got to pay some bills, uh, pick up some food, stuff like that. So what I wanted to do today is just bring you guys in the car ride with me um, while I'm out doing this stuff. And I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about um, my week coming up and pr pretty much how I plan on tapering for Green Mountain Stage Race. Um, cause I'm headed over to Green, I'm headed over to Vermont later on this week, um, for the big, uh, Green Mountain Stage Race, which is going to be going on the whole weekend, a four stage stage race over there. Um, now I'll start off by just saying that, uh, um, I'm on vacation this week from work and I typically, and I always do this every year because, you know, I've got the kind of job where, you know, at literally the drop of a hat, I could, you know, have to work like... Again, it, it wouldn't be a guarantee, but I had the kind of job where, unfortunately, I can't control my schedule all the time. And if I was at work, I could conceivably, depending on what happened, what you know, what went on at work, I could have to work like you know, 16 to 20 hour days for a couple of days or longer. And I just the only way for me to guarantee or to fully control my schedule leading up to Green Mountain is to be on vacation. So I always take one, a week of vacation before Green Mountain so I can make sure I'm resting properly and tapering properly for the race because Green Mountain is my number one A race for the year. It's pretty much the race that I train all year for. So I want to be at my best so I take a vacation week to just ensure that I can control the stresses in my life you know, in that week leading up and really control my taper so I can come into Green Mountain as fresh as possible and as ready as possible because Green Mountain is a four day uh, stage race and it's a very challenging uh, race and it's one that I really enjoy and that suits me well overall so but anyways um, like I said today's Tuesday now yesterday on Monday I did my last uh, what I consider my last real training ride before Green Mountain I did I think I did like three hours at three hours um, with you know several you know not a hundred percent efforts but you know several 90 to 95 percent you know kind of hard efforts um in that ride so and now what i'm going to do today is my plan is today is i want to go out for just a couple of hours of easy spinning do no hard efforts at all nothing to stress my legs and uh, i can just basically just get the aerobic system kind of working for a couple of hours and basically kind of recover on the bike but still get a couple hours of spinning in and tomorrow and then so then basically tomorrow and thursday my plan is going to be each day, on both Wednesday and Thursday, all I'm going to do is go out for an hour each day, warm up for 20 minutes or so, and I'll do two to three, you know, one to two minute long efforts at pretty much like, you know, threshold. You know, I'll do like two to three threshold efforts for just a couple of minutes, just to kind of prime the body, and just so my body and legs don't forget that, you know, we've got work to do here in a couple of days. So I don't want to just like completely rest all week because then your your body kind of gets into a total recovery state and it can be hard to bounce back once you get into race situation again. So the whole idea of a, ta of a taper is that you're trying to do enough work, enough intensity that your body still remembers what intensity feels like and still keeps that fitness primed. But you're, but you're really drastically reducing volume enough that you're basically kind of still recovering and getting to recoup some energy heading into your big event. So uh, tapers are very uh, individual. Um, there's really no right or wrong taper for everybody. Some people do well with, you know, a four or five hour endurance ride the day before a hard race. Some guys do better sitting on the couch the day before a race. Some guys do better with an hour of, you know, easy spinning it's just there's really no way to really figure out what's best for you until you get out there and experiment with different tapers which I've done over the over the years I've experimented with some different tapering uh, options and, and, and methods but what I found works best for me is if I take about three days before the race so you like I said yesterday was a was still a pretty hard ride not super hard but it was it, it was I consider that a, I consider that a training ride you know um, but from here on out, you said Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is my three days before 
Green Mountain because Friday is the is is, is uh, the stage one time trial in Warren, Vermont. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm going to be really scaling back uh, the volume and doing just enough intensity. So hopefully my body doesn't forget, you know, what it needs to do and what it feels like to do that, you know, come come race day. So that's what's worked decently for me in the past. Um, it's what I'm comfortable with. I think if I taper this way, I feel like I'll be in, in, in pretty good condition going into Green Mountain. Um, now as far as an injury update, I mean, my left ankle is still not 100%. My hip is actually fine. Like my hip is, my right hip is good. My road rash is really healing. I don't know if you can see my elbow, but I mean, my back and shoulders are pretty much the same way. Road rash is really c coming along well. Those, I still do have a couple of small scabs, but it really doesn't cause me any more pain. Um, and I can shower with no problem, stuff like that. It's not bothering me sleeping anymore. So from a road rash perspective, I'm pretty much recovered other than a couple of scabs. My left ankle is still bothering me. Um, although when I'm on the bike, I can pretty much ride at full intensity. Um, and I have good stability again in that, in that ankle. It's just that when I'm moving it around, I can just still feel the slightest little bit of discomfort and the ankle is still very slightly swelled a little bit. Um, although I can put my, my, my racing shoe on and tighten it down good and everything. So all in all, I would say my ankle's probably 90% if I had to put a statistical mark on it. Um, it's not it's good enough where I can race it, it's certainly good enough where I can race and defend myself on the on, on the course and and compete at a high at a, at a high level hopefully so but I just wanted to take a few minutes talk to you guys a little bit about my taper for this week uh, the importance of tapering it's very important that you taper before you know your big goal events now if this was just a regular training ride or a, a, a training race like say I was just gonna do like a, a race this weekend and it wasn't like a real a race it was just you know, I was gonna more or less take it as like a training race. I probably wouldn't ta I wouldn't taper at all for the race. I'd pretty much, you know, just look at it as a day of training, essentially. But uh, because Green Mountain is my A race, it's like my number one goal of the year. I'm certainly want to. I certainly want to, you know, taper as well as I can coming into the race. So, um, just wanted to, you know, give you guys a couple of, uh, hopefully, a couple of insights on tapering. Um, Guys, leave me some comments. I mean, what tapers work well for you? Um, again, I've, I've always found that you can get value um, in the comment section of these videos. And so if you guys have other ideas on tapering or, or you know other tapering methods that have worked well for you, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what works for you. And who knows, maybe I'll pick up something that I can you know draw off in the next couple of days. So, all right, guys. Well, uh, like I always say, I really appreciate supporting the channel. And I look forward to seeing you guys right back here in my next vlog.